guys and welcome back to Feywood. I'm back. I'm actually filming this a little bit earlier than you guys will see it because we do have a lot of things going on towards the end of the month and into December and things like that. I'd love to say that my time off has been all rest and relaxation and cuddling kittens and all the rest of it but it's been mostly catching up on paperwork and stuff like that so it hasn't been too too exciting and I have been a little bit unwell. I'm going to be going back to my specialist. For those of you who are new and don't know, uh, I do suffer with chronic illness unfortunately and it's been a bit of a journey um, as anyone who has a chronic illness will know. It's sometimes difficult to get uh, diagnosed with exactly what's going on so and, um, and then of course difficult to manage the symptoms because you don't really know what's going on. So Anyway, that's been something I've been dealing with as well, unfortunately. Uh, one bit of news that I'm really excited about uh, is I'm getting my hair done. I'm going to have purple hair soon enough. I got the okay from work that I could do it, <laughs> so I was really excited. I've got an appointment booked in for December, so uh, watch this space soon enough. I'm going to have, hopefully, some really cool purple hair if everything goes well, so... I'm really excited about that. Nothing much else has been happening, to be honest. Anyway, all that being said, I'm back and we're going to do an unboxing together. <laughs> so I've had this sitting with me for a really long time and I've been so good and not opened it. Like I peeked in it once because I thought, I thought there were two boxes in here, but it turns out it wasn't whole big story because <laughs> I, I ordered two um, like craft boxes these are mystery craft boxes and I thought they were all in the one thing I didn't realize how big they were but this is just one of <laughs> can't even fit it yeah this is just one of them I thought this was two this is just one and then I have another one on the floor as well so depending on how long it takes me to unbox all of this with you guys we might open both of them so to give you some context on what on earth I'm talking about I I saw these mystery boxes being um, advertised on House of Adorn website now House of Adorn's a local shop that sells really awesome craft supplies they do a lot of millinery stuff they've got fabrics trims back before the pandemic they had this really cool discount section as well like they had two one main building with all their new and awesome stuff and all their you know uh, brand new crystals and materials blah 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 all of that was in one but then they had a discount side as well and <laughs> you know girl loves the sale <laughs> so i i did a haul ages ago you if some of you guys have been around for a while you might remember where I had heaps and heaps of trims and things lots of lace and stuff and that came from House of Adorn from their sale side of things and you, yeah they had some really great bargains like five and six dollars for a whole roll of lace and stuff so I mostly got lace actually they had all sorts of other things as well anyway that closed down since pandemic unfortunately and I don't think it's open again yet and that might be why they're doing these mystery boxes no idea maybe they were doing them before that I, had, I actually don't know but for 40 bucks you could get a mystery box and apparently it's like $250 worth of um, craft supplies in the box. They had a few variations of the box, which is why I have two. <laughs> uh, and I don't know how different they are, so we'll see. Um, like they had a Christmas one. So I decided to get a Christmas one, of course, because, you know, Christmas is coming up. They had craft, they had millinery. Um, I feel like they had costumes or something as well. I think that might have been it. I'm not sure. That, so range of different options you could choose from for your box. So I got one that was Christmas themed, thinking that would be perfect for this time of year. We can unbox that together and have a look some, at some festive crafts. And the other one I just got was uh, art and craft. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to get one that was just, you know, your standard craft type of box so what I figure we can do is unbox this together and then from what's in here I have to make a Christmas decoration I have no idea what's in here <laughs> so hopefully something good because there's going to be another video where I make a Christmas decoration and out of whatever is in here so I'm crossing my fingers I can make something halfway reasonable <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I, I hear a chorus of meows at my door, but the kittens are not allowed in here because, oh my god, they, they are so playful. They get into absolutely everything, and I'm very concerned about how the Christmas tree situation is going to be this year. I've been, like, looking up YouTube videos on how to um, cat-proof your Christmas tree. Like, we've had cats for years, but I've never had cats this playful. <laughs> can you hear that meowing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Boys. And I'm guessing you can probably hear that, but that's the rain. It's been raining so much here. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long for this intro. <laughs> but I haven't seen you guys for ages, so I'm like, chat, 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 chat. All right, let's open this box. We've got a lot to open. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... There's all sorts of things in here by the look of it. I'm just gonna dig in. <laughs> I think this is a feather boa or multiple feather boas, or I guess just like feather trim. Check that out. Oh la la. The boxes weren't labeled either, which one was Christmas and which one was craft. So I'm going to assume this one's Christmas because green and gold, but I don't know. Once I open them, I guess I'll work it out. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, there's a lot of this green feather trim. I don't know that I'd have a Christmas decoration made out of feather trim, but maybe. Um, I like it. It's cute, though. I mean, you know, I could see it for a costume later. Maybe I can dress up as Mrs. Claus or something. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me very well over what's happening outside, but I'm pretty sure it's hailing right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's rain that bounces. <laughs> All right, so we've got some more feathers. Uh, I mean, again, I'm not sure when it comes to a Christmas decoration. What am I going to do? I can make an angel, I guess. I hope you guys can hear me. It is so loud, that rain, because we have a tin roof. So when uh, hail and rain and things hit the roof, it can be pretty loud. So I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> oh, hang on. Now the other one doesn't have this by the look of it, but this has elastic. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. So it actually looks like these are costume wing, like little mini ones. That's pretty cute. They look a bit kid sized though. I don't know that that's going to fit me. <laughs> More feathers. We've got a real feather thing going on here. Uh, and this is quite a nice size actually. I can picture making an angel out of that one a bit more so because it's not too massive whereas I mean I, I can definitely make an angel out of this but it, I think this would be more of a freestanding angel rather than on the Christmas tree which I mean maybe we could do that. Who's to say I have to make a decoration that goes on the tree? Oh look at this! We have a ton of styrofoam stars and little snowflakes as well. These would be really cute. Oh, that one's broken. Different sizes by the look, yeah. Look, and you guys probably know, uh, if you've been with me for a little while, I have mentioned my uh, desire to try not to put snow themed things on our Christmas tree because in Australia it's summer when we have Christmas, so I just feel so strange. I know that we do it because all the decorations, you know, that we see from the other half of the world uh, who are in winter, they're all covered in snow and they have snowflakes and it makes sense. And we love the idea of that winter, you know, Christmas thing. And we watch all the movies where it's Christmas and it's snowing and all the while we're in shorts <laughs> with the aircon on with snowflakes on a Christmas tree. It just seems weird to me, that's all. Um, <laughs> the stars, on the other hand, I would definitely use the stars. And I do like the snowflakes, don't get me wrong. Like, I love the look of snowflakes and I love the Christmas trees covered in snow that are all white and all beautiful. But I just, it, again, I hope, hope that makes sense. Like when we don't have snow at Christmas, it just seems a strange thing to do. So I'm probably going to keep these for something else, maybe? All right, we've got even more styrofoam things happening in here. We've got a big circular one. This could be cool to make some sort of wreath. Got another one, is that the same size? Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's slightly smaller. 
And then Christmas trees. This will be really cute. Uh, yeah, so that'd be cute having a couple of little Christmas trees decorated and maybe put something on the top. So that's an option. I just want to put it out there. I'm not going to be able to make all of these things. <laughs> I'm probably just going to make one or two things out of what is in here because um, I just won't have time to make that many Christmas decorations. But, you know, we'll try and make something fun. It may or may not be for the Christmas tree. By the look of it, there's a lot of options. So I might do something for the table potentially, like Christmas trees. I could do a wreath. I could do like a bauble. Comment down below, what do you think I should make out of the stuff that I pull out? And I know I've got more stuff, so <laughs> stay tuned. But yeah, leave me your suggestion. What, what would you make? What would be the first thing you would make out of this stuff? And we'll see if I make the same thing or not. And then of course we've got some baubles. So they are obviously really fun to do to create decorated baubles. I've got a couple more in here as well. I think there's four by the look of it. This is interesting. I don't know what's in here. We've got a bunch of boxes of something. So let's open it and see what's in there. Oh, all sorts of stuff. All right, what do we got? We've got some plastic containers. These are great for putting beads and other things like that. Uh, I don't have any shortage of plastic containers because I used to sell beads. I haven't really been up and running with the bead selling side of things lately and I may or may not get to that. <laughs> I'm still deciding whether it's something I want to continue with because you know I only have so many hours in the day for things so uh, but for your own stash these are quite handy as well and I find this size quite good because they usually fit inside of other larger uh, craft containers which I like to do that so um, you know, if you want to use, you know, those slotted containers where you've got different sections, sometimes you want even more compartments in there. So um, I might put some seed beads in one of these, put it in there and then put some other beads in there as well. It's just a way to kind of maximize storage in a little container. I gotta say, opening this is like Christmas. <laughs> if you're in Australia and you can buy from House of Adorn, I mean, maybe consider it like you get you do get a lot like it was yeah 40 bucks and and i mean obviously i haven't opened everything yet but looking at what oh, you can't see everything that i can see down here but it's looking impressive Ooh. all right so we've got some beads here very nice pearly ones and white ones oh very nice i don't know if you can see but they're really beautiful cabochons with gold and then almost like drizzled gold over the top of it like an old gold with a bright gold drizzled over the top very pretty i could definitely picture using those in a christmas decoration because we've got a bit of a green red gold theme going on at the moment Ooh, lovely rice pearls some more white beads different shape though and little silver beads i'm feeling very overwhelmed right now <laughs> If this ends up being too long a video, which it very well could, I may split this into two. So we'll see. I still have a lot to go and yeah, <laughs> I'm diving into the treasure and pulling out all the bits. But uh, yeah, there's, I'm like looking and going, hmm, yeah, maybe I need two videos. <laughs> Ooh, so we've got some lace here. I kind of want to open this and get a bit of a look at it. Oh, so it's actually, I thought it was, um, I thought it was thinner, but wrapped around a lot more times, but it's actually the width of the card. That'd be, I mean, this would be really pretty as like a Christmas tree, um, I want to say barricade. <laughs> what are they called? Skirt. Skirt? Yeah, Christmas tree skirt. They put those little things around the bottom of a tree. I was looking at maybe doing one of those just because like apparently it can help keep the cats from trying to climb up your Christmas tree. So, who knows? I might do that. I don't, my husband thinks it'll be fine, but like I have images of a tree going through the window and a cat going with it. So, I'm just, I've been up at night thinking about this. I mean, this is definitely the Christmas box. I was like, is this the Christmas box or not? It's definitely the Christmas box. Oh, 
this is pretty. Look at this. Another sort of trim, but this one's uh, thinner. So like, I mean, I could kind of even picture that presents wrapped up with this you know this would be really great for maybe those um, Christmas trees like I could picture putting this up around the Christmas tree to create that look of leaves or whatever so that could be a thing some pretty silver sparkly ribbon even outside of Christmas things this is something I would use for like if I was doing any kind of costumes or other things like that this is just handy standard type of ribbon to have. Can you guys see that? I think so. It's one of those beaded trims, the really thin bead trim things. Ooh, this is pretty. Again, this is a type of trim that I would use um, not just for Christmas things, but it could be handy for other things as well. It's a really nice one for uh, costumes and other things like that, so yeah. Very nice. And this one, very pretty with the green and gold there. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that in the background as well. I feel like there's so many background noises that I'm having to tell you about. The rain's gone now, but I can hear uh, my husband yelling at the cats now. So <laughs> may or may not hear that. I don't know what the camera's picking up. Some white trims. Still not sure what I'm gonna make yet. I've still got a few bits and pieces to go yet. So inspiration may hit. But uh, yeah, it'll be a different video anyway that we do that so we can sit down with all the bits and try and work out what we're going to make. I'll be interested to know if anyone comes up with what I make because by the time uh, you guys comment, I probably will have made the thing. So I'm just, I'm wondering if you know <laughs> Great Minds or if I'm totally in a different, you know, universe, which is also possible. <laughs> oh, is that coming through on camera? That's really pretty. They've got a little iridescent look to them. Very, very pretty. Gosh, it's there's so much on that. Look at this. That's heavy. Like that's that's a full spiel. Like um, what are they called? <laughs> a, a full roll of beads right there. That's uh, I'm impressed by that. I definitely feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Another one. This is a green one. Again, it's just got that pretty iridescent AB to it. I hope it's coming off on camera. Oh, look at that guys, that's beautiful. This has got wire in it too, which is lovely. And these ribbons are so nice just for decorating a tree as is. If you guys were with me last year, I don't know how, I've got a lot of new people <laughs> subscribing, which is great, so hi. Um, <laughs> uh, I did some uh, Christmas tree decoration last year and I was using ribbon because I was like so inspired by all of these uh, decoration videos I was seeing where people were using ribbon. I am such a, I love Christmas. Like I am just such a sucker for the whole festive cheer and all of that. Like I get right into it. <laughs> so I, I watch all sorts of, like I'm already watching uh, Christmas videos and it's like start of November and my husband's like, it's too early for Christmas. Like, no, not in my world. <laughs> I need to prepare because I like to put my tree up in December, at the start of December, so I can have all the festive cheer for as long as possible. <laughs> Is anyone else like that? My husband's a bit more bar humbug. I'm um I'm all about the oh Christmas. <laughs> oh. All right, I had to open that. Look how pretty. I mean, Christmas is, a, I think that's another thing I love about Christmas. It's such an excuse to pull out all the bling. It can be blingy trees. It can be blingy uh, eyeshadow. I don't know if you can tell I've got blingy eyeshadow on today. It can be blingy outfits. You can pull out all the bling and no one bats an eyelid. I love it. <laughs> and then we've got red as well. And I wasn't sure, but I can see up here, it is a single row of sequins, which is handy because then you know if you just want a trim of sequins on something or whatever these could be good for the baubles or I don't know decorating the Christmas tree things or whatever this one's very pretty as well this is just a really pale citrusy green actually so you know if you were like looking for doing you know you always see those traditional bright red bright green for Christmas but it's interesting sometimes to mix that up and go for something a little different maybe pastel green for example or maybe like um, more of a limey green or something like that it just 
changes it up a little bit which I quite like or even mixing them together can be really cool as well like all different greens so yeah very pretty again I think this has got yeah this has got the wire in it and they've got this pale blue one which is same design as that pale green and this kind of icy blue would be perfect to go with any of those winter wonderland themed trees and I'm so envious to anyone who has a white Christmas and can do all of that and it makes sense because <laughs> I love I love the look of it it looks so good I love all the I do I love all the snowflakes I love all the uh, flocking on things it just looks so beautiful I just can't bring myself to do it because we have no snow <laughs> Holy cow, look at that for a bag of sequins. You guys can't see it, but I have a mountain of craft stuff in front of me here and it's a bit precarious. I'm a little bit concerned that something's gonna go toppling. It, it may well. Here we have some seed beads, size six by the look of it. An opaque, like a Kelly green, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, I've got a little bundle of goodies here as well we've got little appliques like little green stars a little Christmas tree how adorable these are so cute I'm gonna have to pull one of these out so you can see it properly because I feel like the reflection of the plastic isn't doing it justice <laughs> how adorable I love that even that's stuck on a Christmas card how adorable and then just some little stars but wait, there's more. <laughs> Christmas is done. This is all I need for Christmas. This is Christmas right here. This is just a box of Christmas, really. Any crafter who, you know, is into this sort of thing and likes all this stuff, I mean, get them a box of this and they will be loving it. It's so good. We've got some teal stars. Some pink sequins. I think this is a, a box of sequins, pretty much, so... Some more sequins, red sequins, some more paler green sequins, and then some tubes of sequins with the different greens and gold, holographic gold. I've got these plastic beads. Oh, these are glass beads. These are heavy. They look like a sew on type of stone, actually. Really pretty. Oh, can you see them properly? hope they're coming through okay on camera and even more beads this is like a faceted bead feels like glass as well actually very nice and a seed bead looks like a size 11 looks slightly bigger than an 11 actually but I think when I was ordering beads in this kind of color they would call it ox blood so it might be similar thing just a dark red really oh what's in there oh Ah, how cute. Can you tell it's like a little bird styrofoam? That's pretty adorable. I don't know, if they all birds? Yeah, so I seem to have a, a, a little box of birds. <laughs> the cats would love that. <laughs> We're nearly at the end. <laughs> nearly. The last things are material by the look of it. So I've got this big roll of lace. It's going to be hard to show on camera, I think. I might, I'm going to open this one. There's a white version of this as well. So I'll just open one so that you can kind of see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like there. You could use this for a table runner even. White version of that. And then this looks like it's, it's a lace as well, but it's got more of a honeycomb pattern to it, which may or may not be visible on camera I can't tell whether you can see that through the shininess of the plastic and I think that's it they gave me some spare boxes as well which could be handy yeah wow that was awesome <laughs> that's so much fun to unbox I'm definitely going to do a separate video for the rest of the stuff because there's was just a lot and I don't know how long the video is going to be once it's edited and I was chatting a lot as I always do anyway um yeah let me know what you think I should make unfortunately as I say like by the time I do get to see your comments because of when I'm releasing the videos I will have already made the thing but I'm curious to know what your thoughts are like you know did you see this stuff and think of something straight away that you were like yes that's what I would make first out of all this stuff 
Obviously, you can make so many different things, and I just I'm I'm torn in about five different directions of what I want to make. I mean, I can make those Christmas trees. I could make an angel. I could do a huge bauble. I could do those little birds. I mean. There may be, look, we'll see how we go for time. There may be more than one video coming after this just because I can't decide. But otherwise I'll have plenty of stuff for future Christmas crafting with you guys. So yeah, that was lots of fun. Uh, I hope you're excited to see what I make. If you're in Australia, I would definitely say grab one of these boxes if you're in the market because you get a lot of value for money, which is great if you're not in Australia and you know you can't access these boxes um, have a look around see what sort of mystery boxes there are I also think it'd be fun to do some sort of swap between people you know have someone put together a box for you of stuff that they have and send it to you and vice versa and you each have to make something out of what you send each other that would be really fun to do I've thought about doing a thing in my uh on my channel actually and my husband suggested this too where he goes around my studio and picks out things and I have to make something out of what he picks out so let me know do you think that'd be a fun video because I could definitely do that next year as well all right guys I'm gonna go um I am gonna feel a separate video for the other box so I hope you're looking forward to seeing that one as well I just think it's fun to like you know I don't know dive into the treasure and uh, discover things <laughs> subscribe if you want to see more Christmas content from me because I do have some plans for some of this stuff so and then we'll have some other Christmas content as well as all of this and for the rest of you I'll see you next time in Faywood bye guys